In this Revit quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to use the temporary view properties tool. So I've got a model here and I'm in a section view. So we can see inside the building, it's a two story hall with some, some windows there. So you're probably used to changing different aspects of the views properties. So we've got a view control bar down here. So we can change the scale, the detail level, um, the visual style, etc. whether it's cropped. We can also, by hitting VV, go to the visibility and graphics override panel. So for any of the categories of objects um, visible in this view, we can apply overrides. So you're probably used to sort of changing a lot of these properties to get the view to display the model exactly as you need. Uh, however, there may be times when you want to just experiment with different settings of those properties um, where you want to quickly revert back to how the view is before you start making those changes. You may also want to apply certain overrides to make the, the model easier to work with. So you might want to make some categories um, transparent or turn them off completely but then say quickly at the end, revert back to how the view was before you started changing it. That's where this tool comes in here, the temporary view properties button. So it's located down on the view control bar. Uh, remember any changes you make here only affect the current view you're working on. So if we select that, let's just take a quick look at what's on here. So, the top there enable temporary view properties if i click that i get this bounding box that goes round here and it says that temporary view properties is enabled that's just to remind us that any changes we make to the view properties now are only temporary and when we disable this function the view will revert immediately back to how it was including all the scale visual styles etc so let's go back in there so that just turns the, the whole temporary view property tool on or off. We can also temporarily apply view templates now. View templates are um, located up here. So on the main view menu on the first panel, we've got view templates. I've got a separate video in the beginner series, which just uh, focuses specifically on view templates and explains that. But basically, view templates are a way of capturing a, a set of uh, configurations, if you like, or permutations of all the different view properties, giving that configuration a name and then enabling you to quickly apply that series of, of setting or that suite of settings to any of your appropriate views. So what we can actually do is any of the view templates that we've got set up we can temporarily apply them to a view. And again, when we disable this tool, the view will go back to how it was before a, that particular view template was applied. As soon as you start using view templates with this tool, you'll get a list down here um, of the ones that you've recently used with it. And finally, you can restore the view properties to, to how it was. So, with this left enabled, let's go and make some changes. So I'll change the scale from one to 50 to one to 100. We'll change the detail level. I'm gonna take that off shaded just a hidden line. I'm gonna apply some shadows. So let's just say for whatever reason we needed to make those changes in this view to, to either just see what it was gonna look like before we apply them or it just made it easier to do something specific to see something in the model we've now finished with using the view with those particular properties we can simply click on that restore it and it goes back the bounding box disappears because we, we no longer need that tool and all those settings have reverted back to how they were so let's just turn that back on again so click on the enable temporary view properties. Let's just pick um, that wall at the back. If I right click, override graphics in view by category, 
exactly the same as if we'd brought up the, um, the the visibility and graphics override panel by hitting VV. So let's just do a change to the surface pattern of that wall, what we can see in, in projection. Um, change it to a nice bright pink color. Hit OK, apply. Hit OK. So again, I've changed some of the properties of the view this time. I've uh, applied an override to the walls category to make the walls look different. Um, add restore just takes that away. Just note that if you select an element and you override graphics in view just by an element, not category, i.e. this particular wall that we've um, we've picked here, then those changes that you make to or the overrides that you apply to that element uh, are not affected even if you've got the, uh, the the temporary tool turned on here when you disable it those overrides you've put on a per element basis will remain so just just note the difference there between applying overrides to either a specific element which are not affected by the the, the temporary view properties or by a category which are as we've just seen so finally, let's enable that and hit the um, temporarily apply template properties. Uh, this brings up the, uh, the view templates dialog box and your list of view templates will be listed here. Now, these are just the ones that the Autodesk supply you with, but if you've created your own, they'll all be in that drop down. So just pick one there apply it the properties captured in that view template will be applied the view will change accordingly but as we've seen when you've finished with that simply restore view properties and we're right back to where we started at the beginning of this video